where this video is anymore. Um, there was a video where Ronnie goes into St. Elizabeth, I think South, and he kicks the door down and he rescues his second cousin or third cousin or some relation down the line. And then immediately after doing that, she gets on topics and starts typing about how it was all bullshit and he was just doing it against her will and really she complies with everything the hospital says. So they was able to get her mind and get her brain and they was able to fucking turn him against, you know, him. He, she went, he went there to save her. I feel like Ronnie's mistake was not uh, bringing him, you know, all the way out. See, if he could have got up to the car and got out of the house, he'd been okay. Uh, but they had stopped him at the elevator, and then he wasn't able to go any farther. Uh, people said, oh, was during his fucking campaign, he was just doing it for attention. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. But it was shown that he's got morals and he's got fucking sense. And we're her family. We're here to take her home. You can't keep my family locked away. So immediately after that had happened, the person that he was supposedly rescuing him automatically turned on him, said that he had made it all up and all this other horse shit. She was a danger to herself. She should have been kept there. Um, so, you know, uh, and then his whole file, I heard like um, uh, Kevin somebody had deleted his entire YouTube account. Every fucking video on his account was just, fuck, I don't know, Nealon? I don't want to say Kevin Nealon. <laughs> Kevin, it was, it was a twin, Kevin something. Now, I remember him in school, just I remember him just as a twin. He was a twin with somebody else. Um, but that's, uh, he had deleted his entire YouTube account. And so that's wonderful, right? A great fucking legacy to leave there. So now that he tried to save a family member, but his family automatically is turned against him. And then that's when Renee gives him fucking jumps in and starts being a shitty bitch. Just a stupid shitty bitch. How I can't pay fucking child support. How he's a bad fucking father. How I should be behind bars and how I should be getting raped on a daily basis. And um, he definitely shouldn't win fucking sheriff's race. He should be just fucking just whipped and fucking beat up and just be made to be a slave, you know, out in the fucking fields doing manual fucking labor for her, you know, just so she'll be fucking happy. She's one of them people that just will never be fucking happy. She has to oppress and hurt other people for her happiness um, to matter. And she's a shitty fucking person. And I'm so, you know, it's sad. I'm mad, you know, that he had died. But I'm more mad about the people that supposedly fucking try to, you know, count, uh, give a shit about him. But then they fucking talk all this fucking bullshit. You didn't love him during his life the way he needed to be loved. You didn't do it. You didn't support him in his sheriff's race. You didn't support him as a father, as a man, as a human being. You've been opposing him. You've been against him. You've been doing it your whole life. And I know it's true. And I don't even give a shit. Like, I, I just know that it's fucking true. I just, you could see your character right out, right? If one thing wasn't good enough, then he changed it to something else. You just always had a fucking problem with him. And he could just never do, nothing was ever good enough for you. You're just a fucking, you're just a, a privileged fucking uh, spoiled uppity bitch. You're just a shitty fucking person. I mean, I, I, I don't know how Thor was able to live with you, the kid, uh, without fucking running away or getting getting away from you. And uh, he probably should get away from you because I bet you control his fucking totalitarianism is when you get to your brain. That's Hitler shit. You know, you're not just saying, um, do as I say when I'm around, but, you know, I want you to fucking think a certain way because I'm the fucking queen of your life. Um, wasn't just her that shit on him, though. Um, he's not going to be here much longer. He needs to hear from his son. Call him then. Does this post on his page match what you're told about him on Consciousness 3 a.m.? Yeah, Renee, I can't talk right now, but I'll uh, post you, uh, private message you ASAP. So that's on his Facebook page. Here on Topics, right? So my one regret that I had with him was um, not fighting and defending him when he had needed it, when people were fucking with him. The man, the, there's a guy that's called The Man. He's never been the man enough to fucking post his name. Says he's from Dallas, Georgia. Who the fuck knows where any of these fuckers are from? Um, these fucking sick fucks. You know, that's what the internet's really turning into. Just a bunch of people just ready to stay under the bushes and just to attack anybody and everybody. And you don't even know who the fuck these people are. It's, it's sad whenever these assholes fucking throw some fucking dart at you and then some other motherfucker's like, well... It's true. Oh, I'm glad you fucking support. I had a black friend that was defending the fucking Ku Klux Klan member when he was fucking with me because he didn't like me. My black friend really truly didn't like me, and so he was siding with somebody that was pissing me off. Oh, what? You have a white racist that you're having an argument with? This makes me happy. He was a sadistic fucking shitty Jeremy, Jeremy something. I want to say Smith, but I'm not for sure, but Jeremy Wright. Jeremy Wright, he was like this, just fucking over my shoulder and just laughing about any time anybody was shitty to me. So here he's siding with fucking Ku Klux Klan members um, in his, you know, fucking opposition to me. His oppression on me was most important. He didn't give a shit. Uh, it would be the worst thing in the world for me to feel good or for me to be empowered or to have confidence in myself. 
And unfortunately, people have the will to power, and so sometimes people trip over that will, but I think sometimes people rest on it, and that's all they fucking give a shit about. Motherfucker did not fucking let me breathe, he wouldn't let me live, and it was fucking, it was smothering, okay? So here's uh, the man, Dallas, Georgia. Ronnie Lee Smith was arrested April 24, 2013 by the Arizona State Patrol. He's happy, right? He got arrested last year. He's currently in a Yavapai County Jail waiting extradition to Boone County. For that um, uh, St. Elizabeth's fucking, he had kicked the door, so they said he broke private property. Let let it go. Get, seriously, get the fuck out of you. All, he, he thought he was there for a fucking family. She turned on him, and you all want to fuck up his life. Fuck you, motherfuckers. He probably still has charges out for him, just like that one guy that was found out in the fucking woods, right? Was uh, Smith. Jason Smith was found frozen out in the woods, and they had fucking charges on him. He's supposed to show up for court next week. Oh, I guess the fucking joke's on you, right? Oh, you got a warrant out for him? Well, let's keep the warrant out there. No, I'm not going to turn into a death certificate. You keep on looking for this man. Where the fuck is Roland Doobie? Where is Rodney Lee Smith? Where did Thor go? Now, nah, you keep chasing fucking Thor. That's all you all gave a fuck about. And, um, so he's happy he got arrested for it sometime. The rat and his gopher, then Aiden Kelly is like, I don't know why you call him a rat. He's a cannabis activist having a tough time with unenlightened law enforcement in Arizona. Do you even know him to say something like that? So from Prescott, Arizona, Aiden Kelly, right? Aiden Kelly puts his name behind it. This bitch, the man, he's a rip-off rat. I know personally his thieving ways, right? He knows personally his thieving ways. And there's another fucking douchebag. Um, he was the one in the Baptist church, actually, Beach. Um, fucking, he said something about, he lied. I don't know if he actually said it's true. He said he was going to kill him and his entire family. That's what he said about Ronnie Smith, that he was going to hurt, you know, um, Beach, a guy named Beach. I'm going to say Ronnie Beach, but I don't even know if that's true. Um, but he was, uh, in the Baptist church with that other guy who supposedly was extorting everybody, and he was singing so loud, la, 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 right, that, whatever that beach name was, um, but, um, he was an asshole, he was an oppressor, so I, I think that he was probably fucking lying about the shit that he had fucking said, people just want to shit on someone's reputation so much, they'll just say, well, he threatened to kill me and my whole family, so, you know, what can I do about that, oh, I guess I'll just take your word for it, fuck it, you know, he must be a shitty person, because you said it. Um, and I remember him denying, I remember him asking about it, then him denying it. So, I'll shut up, you posters are showing your own stupidity. The man, latest news, right? Here's more of the man who's just shitting on Ronnie, just getting off to it, right? Just loves to hurt people. This is a psycho. This is a person that enjoys hurting other people, okay? Um, the first rule of life is to do no harm to anybody. And if you can't learn that rule, you're, you're a grown man, the man, right? He's a grown-ass man, and he still hasn't learned to do no harm to others. My source in Arizona, uh, Angeletta Santiago, is able to get a hold of the court's role. May Doobie has been appointed advisory counsel from a public defender and has been given a choice of a plea deal of eight years or uh, taking this to trial. I'm almost certain he will not take the plea bargain. The next hearing is June 24th, 3 p.m. I should have more details later in the day for you. Be blessed. Case number J1304 or 2013007744. Words provided by the nut job Breezy K Fair, aka Ronnie's girlfriend, a partner in crime. Tom Gardner, any further information about Ronnie? Sure, be appreciated. I've emailed Breezy, but of late, no response. He's out. He's out of jail and can be reached on his cell phone. The word on the street is that Ronnie is dying of some kind of bone cancer. If this is true, why doesn't he cure himself of the hemp oil? He's living outside of uh, Crestone, Colorado, with Fat Freddy, aka Jeff G. Williams, with whom he ran away with from Kentucky. His Homeless winch girlfriend, uh, gopher maid, is with him as he dies and goes away forever. So this is the man, right? His gopher, right, sitting there saying that his girlfriend does whatever the fuck he wants her to do. Um, so clearly she's, you know, shitty. He's living outside of Crestone, Colorado with Fat Freddy, a.k.a. Jess G. Williams. I don't know who the fuck this is or where any of these names are coming about, um, but it's fucking bullshit. And this from uh, your mouth to God's ears. I'll be seeing you soon, you fat rat. Love, Satan. So that's um, uh, some fucking psycho motherfucker is like sitting there saying he's Satan and fuck Ronnie, right? There's one post, actually, Ronnie Smith cured cancer. It's almost to a thousand posts on uh, topics. It was one that I had started in September 12th, 2010, so four years ago. Um, right out during the fall, I signed in a Shea Guevara, but he's from Louisville, Kentucky, and um, and I'm basically saying you're stupid, you know, you're such a bunch of assholes. If I was to judge uh, the intelligence level of Gap County by the posters on topics, I would uh, guess that Gap County is probably the smallest county in the state of Kentucky, which it is. 
Right. So, Ronnie, uh, Yad Kenny was not nice to Ronnie Smith. They didn't embrace him. Even Country Boy, right? He's Country Boy, right? One more Country Boy. You're living in Florence, Kentucky. How country can you be when you're living uptown? That's what we consider uptown. We we'll have to go back to Cuba since you seem to like the name you're using so well. Maybe they will like you. So I'm defending Ronnie and Country Boys automatically shitting on me. Um, can anyone cure Ronnie Smith? Oh, that's hilarious. He's got two fucking laugh icons and a fucking spam icon on there. Peanut, right? That's where Peanut was fucking being shitty to um, Ronnie for a long ass time. I even remember like people on topics voting for Peanut over Ronnie Lee Smith. Yeah, go Peanut. Peanut's a fucking champion. Who the fuck is Peanut? Who the fuck is Peanut? Okay? The peanuts are nobody. That's an anonymous fucking dickhole who wasn't half or one tenth of the man that Ronnie is. The man isn't a fucking man. Ronnie Lee Smith believed what he said. He spoke up for the things that he believed in, and he was right. You know, not only was he a man of his word, but he was right. You guys were all a bunch of shitty assholes to him, and for what reason? Why? Just because his ideas were right and they were counter to your own, you let your own grandparents die of fucking cancer. You care. You don't give a shit if your own fucking mother died of cancer, of colon cancer. You wouldn't give a shit if your own father died of diabetes. You wouldn't care if they died of a cure, um, uh, something that cannabis could cure. You wouldn't give a shit. Fuck my mother, fuck my fucking father, fuck my grandparents. Let them die of some, uh, you know, a throat cancer, which can be cured by hemp oil. That's fucking bullshit. Is that what Steve Brashear is going to fucking do? Steve Brashear is going to go along with this fucking horse shit? So, let's see, more talk, um, can anyone cure Gallatin County stupidity? Oh, yeah, Rand Paul, he's, um, basically, that was Ronnie Lee Smith's fucking platform was Rand Paul. He got elected senator, but he couldn't become fucking sheriff. He was basically laughed out of the water. Ronnie Lee Smith, hey, he wrote back, okay, let's actually, let's listen to his words. Um, four years ago, this is, uh, September 13th, 2010. So he says, listen, man, I've been smoking as much pot as I want with impunity since 1996, and I made public notice in the newspaper that I pay my marijuana taxes, and you could pay them too. I could go on living my life and smoking as much pot as I want with no problems. I could be on the road touring with big-name comedians and having a blast. Believe me, in the unlikely event that I lose, this is where I will be. I'm running for sheriff because I have the sense to see where our country is headed. And if someone does not stand up and challenge the federal and state governments on a local level, then the people will be unemployed in the majority and receiving some governmental assistance, and the working minority will be getting taxed at very high rates, so they may have to get government assistance as well. This country is heading down a bad road, and the only way to save it is to have a sovereign-minded individuals elected as sheriff in counties across the country and starting as a barrier between the corporate fascist government and the people. I'm here telling you, the citizens of Gaffin County, that I will be that barrier. I will support and defend the Constitution here in our sphere of jurisdiction. I will protect you and your property. If this isn't what you want, then don't vote for me and go out and campaign against me. The thing you shouldn't do is attack me and call me names. That just makes you look ignorant and frightened. It reminds me of the line Jack Nicholson said in Easy Rider. People say they want to be free. They wave their little flags and shout freedom, but when they see an individual that is truly free, it makes them scared. But it doesn't make them... Um, but it doesn't make them running scared. It makes them dangerous. So that's a good-ass fucking quote. Actually, I want, I want some more Ronnie Smith. <laughs> um, I didn't... Um, I did a little disservice. Here's the real quote. Freedom is great. Long way to discredit... <laughs> long way to go to discredit... <laughs> It'd be no for different for me. I am free. The arrest does not matter. It's the court battle that I can beat. Any cop can arrest me. I, I always have pot on me. I went to the Warsaw Park to smoke pot, and two cops showed up. I was there for this, okay? John Kane was there, so it was Brent Caldwell, and so it was the fucking county, uh, the county police fucking chief, right? And it was a fucking old, he, he looked sickly, too. You know, his face, he's got over his fucking jowls. He doesn't look good, okay? And he's clearly not a good fucking person. He's been an oppressor his entire fucking life. Right, with that fucking buzz cut, he covered up that homeless murder, Jerry Sample. But, um, so, you know, he rat, he fucking tells on the, his fucking deputy, which he could have arrested him. That's what this police chief of Warsaw could have done. Um, but then eventually, the tables turn around to the point where he's actually on his side arresting other motherfuckers, not doing anything. Uh, Ronnie was going to smoke pot in the park, but we, uh, he had uh, chose against it. He didn't want... Giving them the benefit of the doubt to fucking injure him and hurt him, and I don't fucking blame him. 
I remember actually Jennifer Savellis was like, man, I couldn't, oh, I wanted to see him get beat up, you know, that's the good shit, right, that's the good shit. No, it's not a fucking game, I'm glad you could sit at home and just love when people get their ass kicked, um, but what about those who kicked his ass, shouldn't they get their ass kicked too, isn't that assault, you know, an eye for an eye, if you punch somebody, you deserve a punch. He says, I smoked it on the riverbank on the way home, and I prayed for the primary election. I could beat anybody to a pot charge for a joint. All you need is the Commonwealth of Kentucky tax stamp. Um, I remember actually having a couple of tax stamps. So he was able to sort of use uh, Kentucky loopholes in order to get some freedom, and he was a free man.